Previously on Totally Lost. You're fired. No, you know what? I quit slash and fired. That went even better than planned. <laughs> the quickening can proceed to level two. Oh crap. What's up? Well, I want to task you with finding my would-be assassin so I can avenge my eye. If we are going to investigate Piggy's shooter, right. I want to know if I can trust this guy. I want to know more about him. I want to know Piggy's secret origin. Mm -hmm. So I stole his file and I found out where he lives. Damn, look at this. Piggy's orientation phone. We can learn everything we need to know about Piggy from this video. Greetings. My name is Pig E. Bill. Bill. First name Pig, middle name E period, last name Bill. And if you are watching this video, then you are one of 10,000 human units who become members of my Militia of Malevolence, which exists for the sole purpose of making me the most powerful being in the multiverse. I will allow you to allow me to explain. If you watch that show called Fringe, produced by J.J. Abrams and two other guys, then you're familiar with that whole notion of parallel universes or alternate realities. As it happens, all that sci-fi crap is actually sci-fi crap fact. Crap fact. How do I know? Because I happen to hail from one such alternate world. We call it Synthoswinotopia, or for short, New Pork. It is a tiny toy planet populated by a race of tiny toy pigs, a diverse species comprised of 26 different types, each possessed of a unique property. Pig A's excel at aeronautics. Pig B's excel at badminton. Pig C's excel at collating stuff. Pig D's excel at direct marketing. As for Pig E's, we're good at evil. My kind are the scourges of our planet. The criminals, the tyrants, the talk show talent bookers. Yet evil did not interest me. I was a different kind of tiny toy swine. I wanted to be a different kind of special. I wanted to be a star. While the other piggies were scamming the elderly or exploiting the poor, I would embark on a staycation, or at least a weekend, where I would just binge on pop culture of all sorts. Books, music, TV, movies, DVDs, video games, webisodes, and graphic novels like Entertainment Weekly. I studied them like sacred texts and became obsessed with being a star, lest I remain a nobody and lack all intrinsic self-worth. The only thing I needed to complete my ascendancy to global idledom was the quickening. The quickening is the Omega event of existence, a supernatural event that confers upon its chosen one unimaginable power. It requires a critical mass of attention. Roughly 10,002 pairs of human eyeballs trained on you for precisely 100 seconds, listening to your every word, just as you are doing now. If you are watching this video, it likely means I have secured the audience of 10,002 people. It means your rapt attention is now flowing through your viewing portal and into me, supercharging my faux cedar frame with unimaginable power. It means that right now, at this moment, my sh** is like totally blowing up. I am star totally blowing up. And with up. my newly acquired celeb superpower, my first order of business will be to... Let me repeat that, repeat that. Just to be really clear here, pretty kick-ass, right? That's it? It's not gonna win an indie spirit. Ugh, no. No. Dan, we're screwed. Supernatural stuff, yeah, the quickening, parallel dimensions. There's no way we're gonna solve this mystery the conventional way. Our only chance of finding out who shot Piggy is if we go back in time and witness it ourselves. Yeah, let's invent time travel. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Unless, unless we go see a guy here on staff who already has invented you know what I'm talking about? Oh, I think I do. Ben. That guy you just said. Yes. Who is that guy? Ben Svetke, my original co-host on Totally Lost. Uh, you know how I feel about you mentioning previous co-hosts. You really need to grow up. Okay, fine. Well, since you brought it up, can I ask what happened between you two? It just didn't work. Last night on Lost, we saw that there are polar bears on the island. What did you make of that? Did you know that you can actually smoke polar bears? All right, this is the place. Close the door. Come on. Okay. I'm getting a creepy vibe. I know, I know. It's gonna get even creepier. See that ash? Yeah. This is called summoning ash. 
In order to get Ben into this office, we must complete a magical circle with the magical ash. We're gonna do that right now. We're gonna do that right now. Okay. What's really, really crucial though, yeah. is the meeting. Okay. When the circle meets, that's when the magic happens. Let's meet. Let's meet one, two, two three. three. Hello, Ben. Jensen, is that you? Yeah. I haven't seen you since the Chernobyl incident. Did that even? No, no. Who's the dork? Dude, you're wearing goggles. Look, don't antagonize him, okay? He's highly unstable. Okay. Why don't you two guys sit down? There's only one chair. I know. Hey, look, chocolate peeps. No. Dude, that's really uncool. That's really just uncool. So here's the deal. There's this tiny toy pig, and he bugs us all the time, but he got shot, and now we're trying to figure out who shot him, and we're trying to solve this mystery, and uh, we don't know what to do. We need to time travel, basically. Time travel, you say? Yeah. Yeah. You want to time travel? We want to go back to the day that he was shot so we can solve this mystery. Okay. I think we can do that. Oh, good. Got something in here. This is... Uh... Time delay release. Don't please don't touch these. Please, please. These are very dangerous pills. These are these Sorry. take one of these and you turn into half goat, half social worker. This is very dangerous stuff. This is prominently featured on Dark Angel, by the way. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. This should do it here. How far back you guys want to go? Well it was April first, April Fool's Day that this all went S down. So seven weeks yeah, or something, something like, like that. that. I know. Nineteen weeks. Yeah, something. One should do. Uh, this is good stuff. This will send you right back. Here, don't, don't worry about it. Just take as many as you want. Guaranteed. Okay. All right. One, two, two three. three. Nothing. I don't feel anything. We, it worked. We made it. Yeah. Do you know where we're at? This is my old office. This is where we shot our conversation for This Place's Death. Oh, yeah. And right outside this window is where Piggy is going to get shot. Hey, there I go. There you go. Liquid lie aftermath. Oh. Assassin alert. Assassin alert. He's here. He's here. He's here. Should we try to stop him? Jeff, whatever happened, happened. And he has a gun. Oh, good point. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. He sees us. Quick, quick. What do we do? I don't know. Hey! How you doing? Do we know you? Why are you nice before you kill? Of course you know who I am. It's me! Wait, I shot Piggy? No, I shot Piggy. You will shoot Piggy. This time, next year, one week after the series finale of Lost. Really? You seen it? Is it any good? Does it make any sense to take place in a snow globe? Do at least 74.4% of my theories come true? Well, it's funny you should mention theories. Remember the one that hey, you had about- did you shoot without me? Yeah, we're on a schedule. Did you even bring a gun? Yes. No. No, I didn't. Yeah, well, figures. That's all right. You know what? I'll get him next time in the time loop. Or rather, he will. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I don't get it. Of course you do. <laughs> oh, that's uh. rich.